everyone, Joel Anster, and today we're in Joliet, Juliet, something like that. Just outside Chicago, Juliet, Joliet, something like that. Outside Jerry's Dogs and more, here to do their hot dog challenge. So this is six hot dogs, six of their signature hot dogs. Um, two are like Chicago dogs, two are like chili cheese dogs, two I think I like sauerkraut on them. And then uh, two orders of their large fries and a order of onion rings. You have 30 minutes to do the challenge and if you do it, you get the meal, uh, you're sorry, I think you pay $25 for the meal, but if you win, you get $100 back in a free t-shirt. So you net, net gain about $75 and if on the meal is around $26, you pay first and go from there. So uh, yeah, 30 minutes, hot dog challenge. Let's see what we can do, it sounds fun. Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor today's video, Soundcore, and show you the Liberty 3. Pro. So the Liberty 3 Pro offers the best sound with active noise cancellation among truly wireless earbuds. I'll be honest, I can barely hear myself talking and it's super awesome whether I'm just like walking around, whether I'm at the gym, I am literally in my own world. The ACAA 2.0 sound quality is exceptional and the exclusive coaxial dual driver technology delivers that both high and low frequency sound directly to your ear. So the bass is a deep punch, the mids are luscious and the treble just sparkles. When it comes to the noise cancellation, they have Hear ID ANC. The technology has a noise reduction algorithm which helps adapt to your environment and personalizes the response based on your own ear and hearing. The Liberty 3 Pro is actually now available at the Best Buy offline store as well. They do come in four colors. I went with frost white, and I will say I really, really like them. The case is super sleek. They look very professional, they look very attractive. And whether you're playing like a mobile game, listening to music, or on the phone, they can enjoy great sound. Like literally it feels like you're surrounded by 360 sound. But the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro is actually also endorsed by 20 Grammy Award winning audio producers. So with 32 hours of playtime, great sound, great quality, there's nothing to lose. Grab yourself a pair of the Liberty 3 Pros today using that link down below. Yes, click the links down below. You will definitely not be disappointed and it's definitely the best pair of ANC earbuds under $300. Everyone's here with the challenge, looks really good. So again, two of the Jerry Dogs, two of the uh, kind of chili cheese dogs, two of the sauerkraut dogs, the fries, and the onion rings. So we do have 30 minutes. If we beat this challenge, we will get $100. Um, so that's pretty cool, and a tweet t-shirt. So we're gonna start here just momentarily, and uh, looks good, I'm excited. So let's get eat. Funny fact, or like funny thing, I'm actually gonna do this challenge on my knees, so we're gonna pull a Randy Santel. This is the first time I've ever done that because I've always been too short compared to the table, but this, the table is really short, so we're gonna do this. Um, so, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All right, so how about we get started? Have a nice little Chicago dog here. Oh, pretty heavy actually. So we'll get started with counting off, let's say five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Mm. Woo! That is delicious. <coughs> I held it, but that's my first time having a Chicago dog. A Chicago dog. I like it. Very nice flavor. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Jerry's Dogs, yes, doing their hot dog challenge. Um, so pretty straightforward challenge, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. Hot dogs are foods I don't eat that often, and really the only time I actually do eat them are in challenges, but this offered some really, really, really cool hot dogs. So crap mustard? So I really do believe this is my first time having a Chicago dog, and definitely a first time having a Chicago dog in essentially Chicago. So you had the two Chicago dogs, the two sauerkraut dogs, which I think they call this like a Jerry dog, um, sauerkraut, and I believe there's a little mustard on it. And then we had the two kind of, uh, you know, chili cheese dogs, pretty standard. Um, but you know, favorites of many, many people. They made the french fries and the onion rings, uh, 30 minutes. But what makes this challenge so special is the cash prize on it. Um, you know, many a challenges similar to this would probably offer, let's just say a free meal and a t-shirt, but this one offered all of it. So you got cash, free food, and a sweet t-shirt. So how can you go wrong? Very good hot dog as well. 
the place was pretty quaint, but I will say the affordability of everything on the menu was super, super, super cheap. I mean, like, I'm talking a the hot dog was like two or three dollars. And uh, obviously they had a different variety of hot dogs and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, but I thought it was really, really cool. And like I said, very, very affordable for what you were getting. I mean, like, you know, even this just costing $25 is pretty dang reasonable when, you know, six hot dogs and fries and I mean I'm sure this would be good at least for three people. They also had a little uh, takeout window which was attached to a bar next door which was pretty funny as well. How are you doing the drive? Two and a half minutes. <laughs> About two and a half minutes, three minutes down. Very good. Those Jerry dogs are fantastic. First time having a Chicago dog, and I really like the flavors. Onion rings. I got myself a ketchup pile. I do like ketchup. That's a french fries. Look like McDonald's french fries. Tastes like a chew. All the workers there were also super friendly, so I really do appreciate that. Um, you know, appreciate the support, and definitely when you're at a restaurant where they uh, they like the challenge, they embrace the challenge. I think challenges are cool. It definitely helps make the experience. Where some restaurants, um, you know, they really don't want people doing the challenge, or if they do, they really want people to lose. And I don't feel like that was the case here. So I really appreciate um, you know the overall experience. And if you notice, there was that little uh, takeout window that I mentioned earlier in operation. I did also try to uh, actually double the challenge, but they wouldn't allow me to double the challenge. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it though. Pretty straightforward. I'll do the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's see what happens. Um, it was very delicious as well, I will say. And uh, let's get the rest of the video. We're about four and a half minutes in. Thank you. We've got 25 minutes left. About five minutes in. Ketchup and fries taste over I do love ketchup. We're done. What do you have for time there, Georgie? Six, twelve. Nice. Somewhere about six minutes, twelve seconds. Come up and use there, give them a little bit of a break. Very delicious. I really enjoyed the hot dogs. Everything was fantastic. Six minutes. With the seconds. fries, onion rings, no complaints. I'll definitely really like the Chicago dog. I'll definitely be back in Chicago or in the area anywhere for a Chicago dog. So if you've never tried a Chicago dog, I recommend trying one out. Also, huge thanks to the staff here. Great location, great challenge. For that, we do get 100 bucks, which is super cool. And a sweet t-shirt. 
So, until next time, everybody. Of course, they have those hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed. I sure did. And uh, that's about that. Till next time. Have a lovely day. And here is the sweet t-shirt. And then, yes, so you also got the $100, but you pay $26 for the challenge. You don't get that back to like $75, $74. So not too bad, but yeah, huge thanks to everybody here at Jerry's. Great hot dogs, really enjoyed it. Shout out to the staff and pretty cool. And here we have the Cloud Gate, also more commonly known as the Bean. Uh, you used to be able to like go right up to it, now you can't for, I don't know, this is supposed to be COVID or preservation reasons, but Cloud Gate. It's a great big thing, like I said, more commonly known as the Bean, people take pictures with it, with, I don't know, because it looks like a great big bean, but I think the idea of the Cloud Gate is that like, because it's beveled, it like, shows you the cloud kind of thing and when you're underneath it it gives you like a very different perspective so yeah downtown chicago the bean and in millennium park they also have this great big uh kind of amphitheater thingy thing couldn't tell you any more about it besides it's pretty intricate as a series of almost i don't know they're just supports or whatever they are i think they're just for uh decoration decorative purposes but definitely a really cool looking amphitheater also here right next to the cloud gate that is the bean right over there and just up from millennium park millennium park i believe this is called grant park and uh yeah they were on this little like bridge thing it's pretty cool you can see it like wind up it starts there winds up here and goes all the way back down around. It's kind of like an artisan, artist bridge. Uh, but yet it's functional because it provides an overpass over the street from the two little parks. And then again, you have the big Chicago skyline all in the background. This is the other way. Definitely a very uh, impressive view. Um, but yeah, no shortage here. Definitely, uh, definitely. Definitely some beautiful and artistic and artsy thingy things around Chicago. And here we have the skating ribbon. So like if you have rollerblades, you can basically loop around, you know, do a loop a loop a loop which is pretty cool. Um, kind of similar to something they have in uh, Halifax, the Omera Oval. And obviously you can run it as well and all that good stuff. And then under normal times, or maybe just today it's closed, they have the uh, kind of rock walls here, um, which is pretty cool. So. Maybe they're open over here, actually. I don't know. I see people stand over there. I think they're closed, but maybe uh, maybe we'll open. Maybe we'll uh, have to go for a spin. And we are now on, I believe it's called Lakefront Road or Lakefront Drive, Lake, Lake Shore. Lake Shore, that's it. Lake Shore Drive. Uh, and yeah, we got all the waters down there, which is beautiful. See, so there's like a walking trail, which obviously goes all along here and up there. Um, and we'll hop on down there in a minute. But yeah, I kind of head in this way. Um, that other park I was talking about was actually called Maggie Dally Park. That's where we were. Uh, and down there is Grant Park. Down there we have the aquarium, and over here we have 12th Street Beach. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go see a little bit more of that. Obviously, as you can tell, a little, a little busy right now. It's, uh, I guess you could call it rush hour. We're getting to be rush hour traffic. A little more overcast today, which is fine, but me and George will continue to see the city, continue to see basically what we have available. And what's really cool we found out is um, the Millennium Park parking and uh, the other like four parkades in that family of parking. On Mondays, you can go online and get a pass for free. Yes, that's right. So you can actually park free downtown in Chicago, which is a big thing. If you've never been, parking here is a not great it's like big city the only like it's comparable to like new york like even toronto honestly parking is way easier and i think way uh, more uh, cost effective and toronto is a very big city so definitely compare chicago prices and parking availability it's pretty much pretty much to that of new york city or almost at least when you're right downtown um so yeah it's definitely not uncommon to see a lot I wanting you to pay forty dollars or plus for you know just uh, like twelve to twenty-four hour duration, twenty-four hours, etc. So if you don't want to pay forty dollars a day, um, like I said, you can't actually get the uh, 
and this is another one, the Lakeside Garage. So Lakeside Garage, Millennium Park, um, kind of that family of parkades. You can get the free parking pass. It's like, uh, again, on Mondays, uh, it gives you 10, like 10 Mondays, you can use it 10 Mondays in, um, in 2021. So, if you didn't know, now you know. So if you come to Chicago, save yourself some bucks. And as we're heading towards Buckingham Fountain, which is that spraying up right there, here's a little fountain. Girl's getting some uh, water sprayed on her, and it's surrounded by roses. Although I will say their, their petals are starting to fall off. So they are, uh, they're well bloomed, I guess you could say, but lots and lots of roses here. And then over here, we have more roses, some more plants. There's actually like, I don't know, flowers and stuff all through here, so. Let's uh, let us see what we got going. We have so the sign says something about a veteran's honor, um, and maybe people. But yeah, anyway, lots more roses. It's pretty one there. Lots and lots of roses. Lots of different flowers. Yeah, that's me. Got some more beautiful, beautiful, beautiful roses. This one, this little bundle right here, that 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 just that's just gorgeous. Oh, and shout out to uh, Ray and Tabitha. They just said hi, so I, I should have got them on video. But shout out to them, all the way from Fresno, California, up here in Chicago. And yeah, like this rose garden just goes on, and it's beautifully groomed. I mean, look at all these, look at all these trees. Just gorgeous. This is uh, definitely a very well kept, nice area. And like, you have like a little, I don't know what you call it, wraparound thingy thing there, so. This is sweet. I love flowers. It smells great. And here is Buckingham Fountain. So it was like seahorses spraying water. And then just look at the size. I don't know if you guys can really understand the size of this thing. It is absolutely giant. I figured it would just be like a fountain, but like, I don't think my big head, it will not do it justice. This is a giant, 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 giant fountain, but pretty cool. Another kind of uh, well-known sight to see here in Grant Park, officially Grant Park. At least I think it's Grant Park. <laughs> and we're here walking along the water. This is along uh, Lakeshore Drive or whatever it's that way. And they have this very extensive path. You see it goes all the way all the way all the way around this is the shed aquarium there the shed aquarium i'm not exactly sure what that building is out there but i know again that's kind of direction of a beach uh, but yeah pretty dang cool again i never understood or never knew that chicago was so readily accessible and or um we'll say available to the water so pretty dang cool